Hi guys, this will be a video tutorial on how to get started in Java application programming. So, what this video is not is a full-fledged course on college course on Java programming. No, I am not going to sit here and teach you Java programming. But what this video is is it'll get your feet wet and get you started in Java programming. And it'll just kind of tell you, it'll get you started up with the SDK and the IDE and such. So, I, right now, am, because I'm running macOS, I already have Java and everything installed, IDE and SDK. So, Java. Java is a programming language that was originally invented by Sun Microsystems, if I am correct. And the true beauty of Java is that it follows the paradigm of write once, run anywhere. Meaning, if I build an application here on macOS, I can compile it and then send it to my friend who runs on a Windows machine and he can run the same application that I was running provided that he has the JVM installed and this will work for any operating system uh, Mac OS, Windows, Linux, Unix, Solaris, etc. So let's get started right here open up your web browser and first we have to go to java.com and download Java if you already haven't here and then you want to download the Java SDK right here download the Java JDK here on packet and they have installation instructions I'm already running macOS so it's already there and everything then head on over to eclipse.org and click downloads and what Eclipse is, is that Eclipse is the IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, that will help you build Java applications. And in Eclipse's case, many different other kinds of applications, like Google App Engine applications, uh, C applications, C++ applications. Eclipse is really great, and it allows you to do much more than like Notepad, or Text Edit, or G Edit of some sort. So go ahead to Eclipse, hit, go to Downloads, and download Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Download that for your platform. Um, unzip it, it's remotely big file, I guess. And I happen to have a instance already running here. And, well, here we are in Eclipse. Let's get started right now. The file, new, Java project. Uh, title it something. I'm titling mine's Hello World. Then just click finish. Go, and then you'll see two subcategories. There's JRE system library, which has a bunch of Java things in it that you need to run your application. And then there's the SRC or source folder. So in the source folder, we want to create a new package by clicking on this little icon here, or you can go to File, New, Package. Let's call this there. You can call it anything you want. This is usually a standard naming convention where you have com and then your namespace and then the product. Hit finish. And now let's actually write, a, let's actually make a Java source file and write some code. Go to File, New, Class, or you can hit the class button here. Let's call this class Hello World. Very exciting. So in the main editor window here, you'll see public class Hello World. Kind of click in. I like to tab things so it keeps it nice and neat. And type in main and hold control and then hit spacebar. And then one of the great features of Eclipse and other IDEs is that it allows for code completion where 
you, you know, if you have a really long phrase that you want to type, you don't have to type out all of it. You can have the IDE already write in some boilerplate stuff. Um, for this, we'll need the main function, or main method, I should say. Um, have that selected, double click on it, or you can hit enter, and then it'll run this. And in the main function is when you're executing the executable, so to speak, the jar file. It'll the first thing it looks for the, when the um, JVM is running is it looks for the main function or method. And everything that your compute, everything that your application does is from the main is from the main method. So let's actually. We're in this tutorial where right, we're just going to write some code that just prints out a simple uh, set of str just a simple set of characters to the console. Now we're gonna use code completion again and just type in s y s o u t sys out. Hit control hold control hit space. And it'll automatically expand it to system dot out dot print ln. Stand it means that um, it's telling to the system and the output stream that it wants that we want to print a line that's what the ln stands for so let's start um let's make quotes and anything in the quotes will be outputted to the terminal or the console here let's just type in something Oops. there now save the file and let's run it by going to run run or you can hit the this little button thing here going to run it give it some time and there we go on the console here it'll say hello world this is my first Java application which is the exact same string used right here um, it might take a while for it to run. You'll just have to give it some time here. Mine took quite a bit. So, what we have here is a Java application. Congratulations, your first Java application. And Java has countless uses. Uh, Sun Microsystems uses Java. Um, Oracle recently bought them, but they but now Oracle and every they Oracle database and everything they use Java. There's Java server pages, JSP. Um, Java is also the primary programming language in building Android applications or applications for Android. Um, I'll, I have a video up on how to build your first Android application using Java, and I'll put that in the video description or up as an annotation somewhere. And so, your first Java application, here it is. Um, thank you guys for watching, and make sure you hit that little subscribe button up there. I'll have more videos up soon. Alright.